Y'all, what's up? It's your boy Nitro Hot Fire here, and um, it's been a rough couple of days. Right now, I'm taking a step back, trying to rebalance my mind and my thoughts and, and things like that, or just stuff I'm working on. Um, I've noticed that I have hit a point in my creative process where, um, especially with like the AI coming out and learning how that works and trying to use it and learn it and it's kind of like giving me the opportunity to take pathways I didn't have before and which is great but at the same time though it's not the best position to be in um because of the fact that um now I'm working on a whole bunch of different stuff that's not relative to um the goal that I have for the, for the year so the goal that I have for the year is to f create a Roku channel and fill it with content and so, in order to achieve that goal, I need to figure out, like, well, I need to get some direction. I need to get a plan in place. Um, and so, that's kind of, like, where I'm at now. That, and that's, that's just one of the goals that I want is the Roku channel. I do have the cafe, and the cafe needs to bounce back um, as far as being profitable and stuff like that. Economy is crazy right now. People are not really spending money on entertainment, and so... It's not really easy to, um, it's, the customer, customers essentially have slowed down. And so that's not good. And so I'm going to need to put some energy into that and some energy into uh, learning what I need to learn in order to get the Roku channel up and going. And so what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be dialing it back a little bit and uh, focus on the content that I can put on the channel. So... Right now, I still need to finish the Blood Brothers edit. That's where I'm sitting in the studio right now. I'm going to be working on that. And then um, I need to be working on the story plot and storyline for the Project Watson, which is a Sherlock Holmes project. And so that's something else I need to do. So I need to narrow my focus, essentially, so that my energy isn't everywhere. Um, and I noticed, I noticed that... Um, like, I sat around for, like, hours on end today uh, sitting at the screen, and I accomplished nothing because everything was everywhere. My brain was scattered all over the place and doing all these different things and stuff. And it wasn't great. <laughs> it wasn't great, and I realized that I, I wasn't getting anywhere. And so I need to dial back everything and refocus my energy. So um, I did some research, and so... Uh, the best part about the fact that I'm trying to do a Roku channel, essentially I'm trying to do a TV channel or a network, uh, the best part about that is is the fact that I'm already, I'm trying to do something that already exists. And so there are so many companies that are television networks like Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, um, Warner Brothers, um, all these different platforms, HBO, all these different platforms have done it before and it's time for me to kind of learn what they did. And so I'm going to be making moves on this, on determining, like, how do I get what they did or how do I get to a point of doing the stuff that they've done in order to, to get success. And so um, that's something I'm going to be focused on um, in the near future, in the near future. Um, so I recently watched a nice a dope video on Cartoon Network that was based on, um, that came from Company Man. Company Man also did another video that I'm about to watch on Warner Brothers, and those videos is talking about like the history of how those companies got started and, and what they do to become successful and things like that. And um, so far from my research, I have, dis I have learned that the first part of the process was acquisition. Um, and what that means is they, they acquired a bunch of content already and they needed something to do with it. And so, what they've done is um, they have uh, reached out to a lot of different people or actually they've no 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 they bought the Looney Tunes and they they had a bunch of cartoons sitting in sitting that they already owned and they needed something to do with it and so they started Cartoon Network and so um, that means that the most efficient way that they started the company was based off acquisition and so um, I think that's kind of what I need to do and kind of how I need to push forward in doing is that I need to go out and like meet content creators and, and acquire um, 
their content and so we can all get together on um, just putting that content out there on the Roku channel and so on and so forth. So I think that is going to be really cool to do and I think that is going to be, I think the Roku is probably going to be like, the could be the future, man, like because um, I remember um, I have some content, I have a Roku channel up called Nerd Torch TV, it's on Roku right now. And right now it's only just videos that I've done um, in the past that went to like one of my other YouTube channels. And I've started to notice that um, it is really uh, like an undiscovered market, for example. Um, out of nowhere, like I haven't advertised my Roku channel or like, told anybody about it or anything like that. But what it's done for me is that it has allowed um, more people to find the content. Um, one day I just decided to check the videos and the, the views, and the views aren't public, they're hidden, so pretty much only I can see them. Um, and the view count was like 30K. I'm like, who out here is watching 30,000 views of my content out there on the Roku channel? And it's not advertised. I haven't told anybody about it. It just exists. And so I think that is something that is really amazing. I think, I, I, you know, I really think I should keep Nerd Torch TV. I really do. I, I really just need to do some rebranding and change up, like, what the style of the channel looks like and things like that. But I think Rogue Nerd Torch TV is just a very marketable title. Um, and so... I think moving forward, I think that's what I'm going to focus on is finding creators that do things in the sci-fi scene like, or like anime or like any, all that type of content is like, I think what I'm going to be moving forward with. Um, it's really like awesome. Like I'm really excited about like making moves to kind of push the envelope forward a bit. <laughs> so I'm really happy about that. Um, and then after acquisition, you know, obviously we will be in a creative space of making new content. So, um, which is what we're already working on right now. Um, Blood Brothers will be on there. Um, Watson is going to be on there. Watson is actually a web series, so I'm really excited about that, doing that. Um, it'll be my first web series. Um, and I'm just need to really narrow focus in on, on those things and those projects. So uh, that's something I'm going to be working on. I, I'm really happy, you know, I'm really happy, excited about where it comes to. A little bit today, I got a little overwhelmed um, because, like, like, I was just not feeling accomplished or not doing something, accomplishing, <laughs> not accomplishing a thing. So I think that this will be the, the right move to make, uh, pushing forward into the future. Uh, and then, I guess, the more we grow and the more we build off of things, I think that we'll be able to... Um, you know, hopefully bring in some finances and, and get this thing rolling and get this thing moving because um, I think that uh, where we're going to be in the future is going to be like, um, I think that the content that we'll be producing or uh, producing and showcasing is going to be like, it's going to be epic, man. Like, Especially in the acquisition process, like I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna find the dopest projects out there that deserve to be seen by more people. Like that's really something that that I'm passionate about, and um, and then at the same time, I'm gonna be making dope dope content myself. So you know, that's something I'm really really hype about, and um, I just hope that I can find these people and talk to them and. <laughs> And like get them to uh, just figure out like what it is to get like <laughs> I really hope I can just get in contact with these people, and so that we can like come to an agreement that it's okay for me to showcase their content. Like um, I'm not right now like there's no money to be made, so it's it's free. It's free views for the for the people. Um, but let's say, hopefully, that we can 
we can make something happen because like I really would like to have a relationship with these with these content creators, especially considering like if we started off good and we started off strong um as like a collective like we can even get these content creators together with a with an actual budget and like shoot some really dope stuff like I'm like some really dope stuff and like just make new content and all together and I think it'll be really cool to do anyway I guess this video sounds like I'm kind of running through it uh but I think that um I just want to put my thoughts out there kind of like what what I'm planning and what I can do um for the near future and uh yeah I think that's pretty much it um, I think that since there's no money involved or anything like that, I'm, I'm really thinking about the, the pro, the probability, oh, not even probability, I'm really thinking about, like, how it will be received, uh, just posting as a showcase, like, these are a collection of nerd content, and, like, just posting it anyway, while I go through the process of getting in contact with these people and seeing if we can work together on some on some things, like I don't know. I think it's very. I think it, I think it's a. I think it's I think that's a possibility of doing that, especially considering I'm not making money off of it. Like I'm losing money. Off of it. <laughs> I'm losing money actually. Um, <laughs> so. I don't know. It's something that I'm gonna see about doing. Um, I don't know. I may I may take that route, and uh, and just see where it goes from there. Like I'm gonna be reaching out to these people. I gotta. That's the insane part. I gotta get. I gotta get some some agents and some like. Like ah. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's gonna be the headache part. Like, gotta talk to agents and talk to people, and like, wait for it to get emails back. And what if I don't get emails back? And it's like, ah, this is some bull. So, it's 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 gonna be a headache. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna proceed or move forward, but um, I'm gonna just have to see. I'm gonna have to see where where we lead to with it. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what, what life brings to the table next for me. Um, and we'll we'll figure it all out. Anyway, guys, it's your boy, Nitro High Fire, and I'm out this piece. Peace. <laughs> okay, so this is a pretty big update um, I want to make on this video right quick. <laughs> So I did look at the, um, I looked it up real quick and I did find out that um, you cannot distribute content. So basically me reposting the content uh, will be classified as uh, distributing um, copyrighted content. So that means that it uh, it is something that I cannot do, um, which is unfortunate because now, that means that I'm gonna have to uh, do the hard part of looking for looking to obtain the permissions, <laughs> um, which is which is what I'm which I, what I plan on doing anyway. But it's just like okay, so I know that I can't repost it. That's fine, um, but so now. You know, that takes off, like, one part of what could be on the options of things to do. So, anywho, um, just wanted to post that real quick.